And as he strides up here to the 12th green, having hit it in regulation, he knows now that his work is by no means done. A long putt coming up. the way wow and with that eagle Frank now only two shots back and all of a sudden put the nine back into the mix just when we thought it might be too late coming down the stretch here at the US Open at Chambers Bay Jake that June out of play that's for sure in the middle of the field bunkers down the left are more for scenic rather than uh, they're not really problematic for the for the player off the tee just uh, as I said hit it over that June and then uh, really there's a ridge in the middle of the screen so you've got to be on the right level hmm <laughs> a drive just tattooed that Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. No damage done. Made the par. Frank, we know we're at a U.S. Open. 500-yard par fours, and here a better than 600-yard par five at the eighth. Yeah, you need a missile really off the tee to be able to reach this par five and two, and not a single bunker really on this uh, on this hole so this is just uh, long every stretch of the way the fairway actually looks a little bit narrower than what it is there's a little bit more fairway than uh, actually what meets the eye at first looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five his second shot Crucial eagle attempt on the way. Even par currently. Just ideal. Good speed on that putt and just a tap in remaining. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Moves into second place with that birdie. Rich Lerner and Frank Nabilo back with you here at Chambers Bay in the U.S. Moving on to the back nine here at Chambers Bay in the state of Washington. I'm Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. Frank, what's the 10th hold all about? Junes left and right, hence the name High Junes. Uh, obviously split the fairway there. But one of the factors of true Lynx golf is you normally get to putt on the calm. The Junes protect this green from all the wind, so a relatively flat putting surface. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. On the seventh tee now, it is over 500 yards from the back tee. Yeah, this, uh, this is called humpback, and you can see why there's all those mounds and undulations between you and the hole, plus all that uh, amazing bunkering down the right side. All to be avoided, really. If you can do that, then you get a decent look at this green. But yeah, you've mentioned it, 500 plus yards. It's going to play longer than that uphill. Well, he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Going to need a bit of force to extract one out of there. He fall. Um, I guess because you can make a mess here, you just keep going down. Bunkers left and right. There's acres of sand on the left and right. And just one little measly bunker. But it's smack bang in the front of the screen. And a huge elevation change from tee to fairway. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Frank, what do we have with the approach shot here at the fifth? 
Just got to be cognizant of that bunker that's, uh, you can see it there, that's just central front of this green. You either got to go around it, or if you're good enough, then you go straight over it, but you've got to have a ton of spin on the second shot. Headed for the bunker? That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. Great professionals, Frank, they don't fear the green side bunker shot, do they? No, because you can be as aggressive or as conservative as you want. You actually have far more options, and you don't have to hit the ball first. And what a great bunker shot. Frank, best bunker players that you've ever seen. Most of them South African, Gary Player, any else, David Frost, just have a great feel. So, hanging in down the stretch with a par. Fifth hole here at the U.S. Open. Frank, why do they call it free fall? Uh, Missed out on that second part. Set to tee off at the 11th hole, long par four, 537 yards. Frank, how do you play this hole with a bazooka? Yeah, try and take that June out of play.